hello beautiful people welcome back to my channel if it's your first time being here thank you so much for clicking on this video i really appreciate it so today's tutorial is going to be all about enhancing your natural beauty just a very subtle very natural looking makeup perfect for school or work or if you're a beginner and you don't really know how to apply and you want to start slow this is perfect for y'all so enough talking let's just get straight into the video so starting off i always like to start with my eyebrows i feel like that's just a good guideline to start with and I'm really not going to fill them in too much. So wherever you feel like you need to fill in your brows. Like on this. This brow is pretty much good. But this one has like some sparse areas here. Like you literally just want to touch up. I'm not going to be filling in. Filling in. I'm just hitting certain spots. And giving them a little bit more shape. So now I'm going to go to the next one and fill that one in and I'm barely pressing. And as y'all can see I didn't enhance my shape. I'm literally just outlining and going in the direction that's already there. And I'm going to take the other side and brush it up. I have an eyebrow tutorial more in depth if you guys want to see that. That is on my channel as well. So next I'm going to be going in with the Fenty Skin Tint. And this is just a very lightweight, low-key tinted moisturizer. But also kind of like a foundation. It's super thin. And I'm going to put that in certain areas that I want to cover up. So I'm going to put it where I have a little bit of dark circles. Some hyperpigmentation right here. A little bit around my mouth area. And also on this side. And I'm going to be using my fingers for this. You totally can use a sponge or um, a brush, but I feel like the fingers just keeps it very skin-like and not heavy. So I'm putting a little bit on my finger like so, and I'm going to be applying under my eyes and blending as I go. And I'm just pressing it in. Also, my skin is already moisturized and everything. I don't like using primer, but do that before this step, of course. So I'm just applying that in certain areas that I don't really want it I like to put it on my lids as well and I'm just rubbing it in you can totally use a BB cream or you can even use a full face of foundation whatever you feel like is necessary but we're only applying it in certain areas to keep it more skin like and not a full face see how natural that looks you know it looks like it's nothing there you know like it's nothing there y'all. I like to blend that out. Wherever you feel like you want to cover up something y'all. So this area right here. And I'm, as you can see this is not full coverage. We are not trying to look. The video is not trying to have you looking perfect. It's to enhance what you already have. So now it's time for concealer. I'm using a shade 2. Shades lighter than my skin tone. Because I want to brighten my under eyes. If you want to cover up other certain areas. Get a concealer the same shade as your skin tone. So it will blend like nicely. And it won't look like you just have random light spots on your face. So when I'm applying this. I'm not applying like if I was highlighting. I'm literally putting it like this under my eye. Just like that. And we're also going to blend with our fingers. Now I'm taking this Huda Beauty setting powder and I'm going to set my face because I have oily skin. If I don't do this, it'll crease and be an oily mess. If you have normal to dry skin, feel free to skip this step. 
And I'm taking this tapered powder brush and I'm just going to dust my whole face. I'm literally using the littlest amount possible. And I'm just going to dust it on. Apply blush just to add a little bit of color. The blush that I'm using is from NARS and it's called Thrill. And it's this bright pink. But I promise it's not as dramatic as it looks. Just a little bit. See how natural that looks. It's barely there, you know. I'm not going to be contouring today or anything. This is just to give us a nice glow. So now I'm going to add a little bit of highlight, y'all. And I'm just going to be applying it a little bit in the inner corner, under my brow, and a little bit on my nose. This one is the duo from Fenty Beauty and it's the Mo Honey and Afternoon Snack. Mo Honey has more glitter in that one so I'm not going to use that one. I'm going to use the more shimmer one which is Afternoon Snack. And I'm using this kind of brush. This brush is so old but it's old faithful. Like this applies my highlighter so good. And I'm using the littlest amount y'all. Like, And I'm just going to apply that under... You also could use a liquid highlighter if you like. That would be perfect as well. And I'm not applying, I'm applying like, look, you guys, literally the little some out. I'm barely touching it. For my nose, same thing. Barely touching it. And I'm just putting it on the tip. Like so. Barely, barely touching it, y'all. Like, and a little bit here on a cupid's bow apply a little bit on my cheeks barely there and that's it you can decide to use mascara or lashes i'm going to be using lashes these are the number threes from kiss they are my favorite they look like permanent lash extensions but they're strips so i'm going to apply those be right back to enhance your lips, you want to add like a little bit darker than your lip color. Um, this one is called Brown from Nika K. And you can find this in the beauty supply store. And I'm going to outline my lips. I'm not going to overdraw. I'm not ombre in them. I'm literally just fixing the shape. Not fixing the shape, girl. Because ain't nothing wrong with it. Anyway, <laughs> we're just going to apply the lip liner to outline our lips and to give them shape. And that's it. And I'm going to be applying a gloss. So now you can add whatever gloss, lipstick you want to use. I'm going to be using Fenty's gloss. I promise y'all this video is not sponsored. As I said in my other video, I just love Fenty. So I happen to have a lot of stuff. This video is not sponsored, y'all. So I'm going to be taking her gloss. And this is Sweet Mouth. And this has been my favorite color as of recently. And I'm going to apply that. So this is the finished look, y'all. Let me know what y'all think down below. I love this look. I feel like it's just very natural, very subtle. This is perfect for work, for school, you're in a rush. This is literally like 10 minutes worth of work versus you having to do 45 minutes to an hour. I know that's how long it takes me because, girl, I like to beat my face down, okay? So please like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see y'all in the next one. Bye.